from the Ford Sports Desk, AOMU8 Sports. This is a dangerous time for sports fans. It's been almost three days without a men's Division I NCAA tournament game, and you're experiencing withdrawal. But don't worry, you're not the only one on the couch wondering what to do with all your free time. Thanks to Northern Iowa, the Kansas Jayhawks have the same problem. So before you clean the attic or build those shelves in the garage you always talk about, don't forget college baseball is also in full swing. Last night, Mizzou baseball began a stretch of 10 games in 15 days when the Tigers hosted the Golden Lions of Arkansas Pine Bluff at Taylor Stadium. Game one of a two-game series between Pine Bluff and Mizzou. Early on, though, it was the Tigers' defense. The one, the six, the three, the twin killing. Some nice defense in the first on that bunt attempt. Now for the second, the five, four, three double play. So the Tigers flashing the leather early. Then it's time for some offense. Bottom of the second, Blake Brown. It's not Metallica, but he shows off the heavy metal as his first home run as a Tiger to left field. Same inning, Aaron Senny with the remix. This one goes to center and out. So the Tigers with a five to nothing lead. Bottom of the third, it's gonna be Brown with a little bit more here. He doubles the right field over the right fielder's head. He'd get in for a stand-up double, and the Tigers pouring it on. Brandon Champagne, he'd single down the right field line. That would bring home Eric Garcia and Brown. Mizzou up 7 to nothing. Bottom of the fourth, it's Champagne again. This time gets a little help on the E6. Another run scores, and that was all Jeff Scardino would need. He pitched five scoreless innings, and Mizzou would get the win, and Blank Pine Bluff, 9 to nothing. Well, a Big 12 conference record, seven teams made the NCAA men's basketball tournament this year. Two of them remain alive, Kansas State and Baylor. One Big 12 team is playing in the NIT, Texas Tech. Last night, the Red Raiders played a quarterfinal game at Mississippi. No, Mike Leach didn't make the trip. John Roberson hits the three, and Texas Tech is up 20 to 10, so it looks like they were going to cruise to a win, right? Wrong. The Rebels with a comeback of their own. A 12-0 run, this time on the putback by Murphy Holloway. 22-21, we've got ourselves a ball game. Second half, another three. This one from Brad Reese, and Tech up four. But time running out. Reese again, trying down low on the putback. That won't go, and we're headed to overtime. But in the overtime, with the game tied at 79, Texas Tech trying to get out of there with a win. The air ball way off, so that means time for a second overtime. Chris Warren driving, dishing. Murphy Holloway puts it up, gets fouled in the bucket. All Miss goes up three after the shot, so could we see a third overtime? No, not going to happen. The air ball. Ole Miss wins it 90-87, to so the Rebels advance to the NIT semifinals against Illinois or Dayton. And the guys with the wood bats are less than two weeks away from opening day. But the Cardinals may have to open up without their all-star first baseman. Albert Pujols is complaining of a bad back, but despite what Cubs fans will tell you, doctors don't believe it's because Pujols carried the Cardinals for most of last season. Number five is likely to miss the next few spring training games for the Redbirds with that discomfort in his back. He had an MRI yesterday and received an anti-inflammatory shot. The first baseman is coming off his third MVP season in which he batted 327 with 47 home runs and 135 RBIs. Now, Megan, I know you're a Cardinals fan. Oh. You've, you've got the WebMD maybe over there on the computer. Is this, is this cause for concern for Cardinal fans? It's or, always or no a cause for concern if Pools is in the lineup. But then again, I'd rather him be out right now than, That's you know, true. once the regular season starts. We still have a couple of weeks. Didn't so. they, like, blow his uh, injury last year a little out of proportion, too? And well, it was pretty bad, and he ended up having to have surgery, but he just plays through a lot of pain sometimes more than than the normal. He's been yeah. pretty injury-prone lately, but... He'll be fine. Say that. Don't say that. Positive thinking. <laughs> Don't jinx him. I'll Thanks a lot.